Hello, everybody. I'm getting my screen set up. I'm waiting for a few people to come in. Thank you. I don't see anybody here. Um, but thank you for the thumbs up. I hope you don't mind to say hello. I really would appreciate um, having a chance to talk with you. Sorry about moving the camera around a lot. I just want to get it adjusted so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if everyone in our I can't see anybody commenting in the uh, live stream yet, but I do see five people. Benny, thank you. It's lunchtime here, so I could use a sandwich. Thank you for being here. I love you. Hi. Hi, Patrick Hollett. Hello. I'm going to show you something I made, and I'm going to do it better, and it's not going to involve a glue gun. I'm so glad you're here. It's untelling what all I'm going to make today. Um, so this is a paper pack that I got on sale at Michael's, and it has beautiful papers in it. And I've been playing with a lot of different colors and styles and doing many different things. But hi, Anita. Hi, Patrick. Welcome. Um, but it has a lot of beautiful different papers in it. And um, I was going to use this today. I have friends that drink tea. I'm a coffee drinker, but I gave these to, oh my goodness, um, see how beautiful that is? I hope I'm not making you guys dizzy. But there's a couple of them in this pack, and I have a lot of, um, this is scrapbook paper. It's put out by Recollections, and it's from the Michaels Craft Store. I really love this. Anita, well, sweetheart, is here. She is sweet, sweet lady. And I'm just going to sit. This is my style, too. I like anything shabby, chic, and vintage. As a matter of fact, I was able to do my whole bathroom that way when I renovated it. I haven't been alive for a long time, and it took me over an hour to figure it out. Hey, Randomonium. Oh, I love you all so much. What are you doing today? Are you going to go somewhere cool, Benny Loco? You're going without me? Look what this says. I don't know if you can. Maybe I can raise the camera up a little bit and turn it. Still in ya is still in ya. What's up? Hello. It's great to have you in my live stream. All of you. Wow. Look what this pack of paper says right here. We grow together. You're going to salt and seed Urbex. I hope you have a beautiful day. And give Randomonium plenty of things to edit. And don't check your settings. Look at this. What a wonderful day you're about to have. I'm excited for you. And I'll look forward to seeing the video. I'm the first there and the last to leave. Look, this says all we have are these moments. Love keeps growing. You see that? These are just some of the things that are in this paper pack I'm showing you guys before I start doing anything. This is 
gorgeous. The Marine's wife and I are going to kick butt. Female explorers rock. Would you hug Michelle's neck and tell her it's from Nalisha, Dreamwalking Angel? Tell her hello from me. Well, I'm going to start out today making a tea holder. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if my light setup is even doing it justice right now. But um, I think Michelle is awesome. And tell her so. Female explorers rock. I'd be right there with you, too, if I was closer, young lady. So I'm going to move this aside and you can, I'm good, so I can show you what I'm going to make. Thank you all for being here. Stony. hello. Oh, my goodness. The sharpshooter. Hi. Oh, wow. Hello, Stony. Okay, this is... Um, See, I'll I put one of them down that I had made earlier. Here it is. This is to hold tea bags or anything else you want to hold. It's a little folder like this. It opens. I've got a little flower on the front for like a button. And it opens with some Velcro. I'm getting used to where my camera used, abused, and confused. Good morning, Ralph's truck, and hello, the sharpshooter, my little buddy for the last two or three years. James the Mod in shining armor. Hello, used and abused and confused. I guess that's Tammy too. Oh, hello, sweeties. So this is a gift. I had made several of these and gave them as gifts to ladies that I knew in my town. Older ladies. This is what it looks like on top. This is what it looks like on the very top. Ba -ba -ba Benny. I get her humor. I, I read that in music. Okay. And on the inside are little envelopes that I made. I'm sorry. I'm still working. 10 in the house. Wow. So I made these little envelopes, you guys, these tiny little envelopes. And inside them, they've got little Velcro closures. Inside them has tiny little tea bags. And of course, you can put whatever flavor tea that you like in there but I put one in there to coordinate with paper now I'm a coffee drinker and I drink a lot of water if anybody knows me they know I drink water all the time but th I made several of them for um church ladies believe it or not that do drink tea and there's a tea house in Woodstock Georgia and uh but for these little pouches if you're imaginative, that'd be perfect to put some other things in, Benny. These are tiny little envelopes. Let me just get my ruler out here. It's a three by three inch envelope. I want to welcome everybody for coming out. I haven't gone live in about five months. And look how many people I've got up in here. Oh, and I really needed the love, but I needed the opportunity to show you guys that I really appreciate you. Um, I made those little flowers with paper punch that I have. But these are two paper punches that I have. And I've got them. Let me shine the light on them so you can see their shapes. I got... This one, I'm trying to find out where my camera is. I hope you guys are patient. And this one, and I got them as a set at our Tuesday morning store. You haven't drank water in years and you want to hear something funny? I just bought Benny raspberry, orange, and peach tea with a holder. That is hilarious. I have... Um, that is funny. 
I'm going to have several of these in many different colors up in my Etsy shop. This one is peach and passion fruit. And um, I've got apple and cranberry. I have blueberry and honey. And I have... Um, Cam good old chamomile tea. Find my camera again. I'm going to put several of these in my Etsy shop so you can see the different ones that I've made. I have apple and cranberry, which I think I'm going to be using later today. But Benny will get one from me just because. She's Benny Loco, you know. She's going to get packaged. This is pomegranate cherry. And uh, then I have peppermint. And I have a cinnamon apple spice. Katie, my show myself, see more last name first since we're on the topic. What about water infused with cucumber and freaking mint? Oh, talk about getting healthy. Yum. Oh, no, my PJ. She's here. Oh, gosh. I haven't uh, put them all up in my um, Etsy yet, but after the live stream, I will be working them on them later tonight i do want to put this up so i have room on my table to continue doing this just talking because i know everybody has places to go and people to see and things to do on saturday last name first you know you can use honey as a rooting hormone yes ma'am I know a little bit of stuff, but not a whole lot. If I start talking, it'll be over in a couple of minutes, I'm sure. I want to show you a couple of other things. Let me get the box picked up that I have been making before I get started. Um... I have taken stickers that you get from the Dollar Tree and used on these paper pads and made these paper pads and I used the stickers and the paper and this all came from the Dollar Tree. These stickers, this paper came in the paper pad. And um, I got this, uh, why I keep saying the Dollar Tree is because I didn't use a lot of money to make this. I made uh, the back of it on the inside. I used food packaging boxes that I save to make this more sturdy than just cardstock. And I covered it and I used um, ink on the die. Michelle and I have been on Hangouts for hours. She told me you were on or I wouldn't be here. Michelle, thank you. Oh, Tammy, uh, thank you for being here. I'm so happy to have you. But water is very important to drink, isn't it? It is. Um, I. This is the back of this one. I have special bags that I ordered from clearbags.com to fix to put some of my crafts in and I get uh, like a hundred at a time. Um, clearbags.com. This is another little thing that I've made. It says you are a true friend. Um, This is a box that I made and I uh, embossed the top. It's three-dimensional. 
like this. And inside, I have put um, just a bottle, a bottle, a container of lotion. That's nice for a gift. I've also made some that had three by three cards in it. Well, I'm supposed to drink a lot of water, but my kidneys are not functioning correctly. I'm retaining water. I can't hardly walk, and it's affecting my heart. So, with the water pills, I have to limit how much I drink. But I'm naughty, and I drink water and Coca-Cola and everything. But I limit it. I don't go crazy. Security. Jenny Marcia. How is she not a mod? She was a mod. Hang on for a second, Jenny, sweetheart. Mm, add her as a moderator. Jenny, if you can type in, let me see if you turned magically blue. Michelle and myself see more last name first. Yeah, no, I take a water pill and some potassium. My feet are very swollen right now, I assume because of the heat. Mm, well, I assume that too. Living in um, Georgia, the humidity is so awful down here. But I had uh, some blood work come back that said that my kidneys are not functioning right. And we're looking into other things to do. You oh, I thank you for that. Can, can I call used and abused? Your name is Tammy, right? This is another one of the uh, little paper pads that I made with an ink pen on the side. And I made the butterflies on the front. Exclude all salt. I know. It's affecting my heart. I made this one back at Easter with the little uh, mechanical pencil on the side. This is also a little writing pad. Yes, thank you. Tammy, so much easier to say than used, abused, and confused. Georgia, the home of swollen feet. You're not kidding. This has to be one of my favorites. Fine beauty and everything. So these are some that I haven't listed in my Etsy shop yet, but I will be after the live stream. And before I get started making anything, I just wanted to show you guys some of the paper pads that I've been making. These are great to give as little gifts. You know, if you go and get your nails done or you go get your hair did or yeah, you want to give it to anybody, you know, or just as a birthday or something, just an I love you gift or this is, I, I make a little holder on the side so the pen will slip in. And I make it really sturdy on the back. And some of them I've made where when you're finished with the paper pad, you can slide it out and put in another one. Because like I said, um, I shop at the Dollar Tree. And here's another one that I made. And I punched out the butterfly with a little paper punch thing. This one. Oh, my goodness. I think so. I'm so glad you're here. Tammy, I can, I'm just thrilled that you're here. And I use pages from the paper packs that I get when they're on sale. This is Beautiful Day on it. And I use the pen on the side. And this is on the back. So I went and bought up a bunch of these. And look, these little cards, they come in the paper packs. The paper packs are $5, and it has sometimes 48 to 50 sheets in them. Yeah, it's kind of hard to find the paper, the heart one, but I have um, a Cricut Cuddle Bug where I run the thin dies through, and I get the heart shapes. Jen's life journey. Oh, honey, I'm so glad you came to my live stream. Welcome. Welcome. I miss you. Thank you for being here, sweetheart. 
this as i was saying this card comes out of the paper pack you can cut it down to the size you need this one says lovely and free and these tiny little roses well that's my size style i love little roses and pink pink is one of my favorite colors and i do love anything sweet like that little vintage tea roses and i put the uh pin on the inside but tammy that's what i was doing with these paper pads and this is a sticker that you buy over in the um section where they sell office supplies and you know mailers envelope mailers you picked up a de-stress color and art book and markers, gel pens, neon crayons, colors, etc. You're going to have a ball. I've taken some of those and scanned them up and printed them out. The uh, color and art books. And you take a... Um, Take something like this with a sharp blade on it. Yes. M Kids in Life. Hey, sweetheart. I am so glad you're here. Big hugs. Thank you for coming to my live stream. I haven't been live since November. And I'm just showing some of the things that I've made. Well, you take something like this, Tammy, and cut those pictures out, scan them up, and then you can print them out on uh, watercolor paper um, that you can get a pack of, maybe at Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby or even Walmart sells watercolor paper. But put that in your printer and print it out from the place you saved it. Then you can use that same picture time and time again and maybe even frame it. Uh, save your coloring books. These stickers, as I was saying, are sold over around in the office supply section. Um, they're, they're made like Jot. They're made by Jot. You can buy them at the Dollar Tree. Uh, you can see that I've used this pad up. So I use this to kind of co color coordinate. And you can see these are little bonbons or whatever that they are right here. And here's an ink pen. You never heard of watercolor paper. I know colored paper. Watercolor paper is for doing watercolor art. It, you go to the art section where they sell drawing pads, you'll find watercolor paper, especially for doing watercolors. Uh, so try that and cut it down. Benny Loco, look at this one. Pretty eyelashes, heart, sunglasses. Long eyelashes, lovely and free. Oh, thank you, James, for coming back. And this is a little flower that I made with paper punch. And I put one of my little sequin embellishments on it. And then I put the pen. And uh, I'm going to put these back. I'm just going through and showing you. Some of the things that I have been making. I'm so glad you came back, James. Thank you for hanging out here with us. I know you're a busy man, especially on a Saturday. But you are so welcome. I'm making my own stickers and stuff. Um, I don't have a sticker maker yet, but I do want one. Um... I'm putting these things down so I can show you these other things that I made that are just too precious. I mean, oh my goodness. I was going to say you're just high, but I don't want you to die, so that's not funny. <laughs> so this is a larger paper pad. 
Let me see if that camera is sinking a little bit. I don't, I want you to be able to see it. Happy Lugs. Well, I'm doing great. Welcome to the live stream. I'm so glad you're here. So I put this in a, I'll tape it up later again. This is a larger paper pad. I'm going to show you, um, This was a piece of scrapbook paper out of one of my um, hot buy paper pads from Michaels. And uh, these are some embellishments that I got off of eBay that I bought from China. They are resin. They're hard. I put ink on the corner of these. And I've got ribbon on the top. I had a border punch thinlet die. That I ran through my um, Cricut Cuddle Bug. And I put... This just closes this way. It says, be fearless on this side. And then it just opens like that on the inside. You can make a junk journal in here. You can put your grocery list on the inside. Now this one does not have a pen holder. But I think this is a pocket for receipts. No, it isn't. It should have been. Happy looks, long time no see. Much love. How do all of you all find me? This right here, I forgot to tell you. I want, you wonder how it closes. Underneath the paper right here, I have hidden a tiny little circular mag magnet. And when you close it, you won't, you might hear, you might feel it right there. You might, you'll feel the click, but you, you, it's not really, really loud. I've done the same thing with another fat rolls. Hi. I don't have it in the store yet, Anita. I'm just making a whole bunch of inventory. Life is good. Oh, my goodness. How do you guys? <laughs> wow. I'm going to open up this bag. Um, I had it all packaged to photograph and sale. But I used a piece of um, scrapbook paper from uh, a Recollections pack pack that you get from Michael's craft store and I ran this through my paper press is a um cricket cuddle bug I'll show you what that looks like some of y'all may have a cricket cuddle bug this is what mine looks like it's got the handle on the side and you know the plates open out you put but I'll show you what this one looks like real quick because I promised I was going to do the tea holder thing. And this one has a magnetic closure that you can actually see. And I'm going to have to cover that. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to have to cover that. That's not cool. But this has ribbon. This has the... The same plastic. I just knocked that loose. I'm going to have to get the hot glue gun out. Um, yeah. Wrong. This is what not to do. Fat rolls. Hello. Thank you for coming to my live stream. And it's good to meet you. I'm just sitting in here playing with paper today. And talking to some of the nicest people. And you have to be one of them. I've been talking for a minute. So you don't mind. I'm going to drink some water. Lulu, love you. Hi. Welcome, honey. I'm so glad you're here. I've been talking and talking. I'm going to have to get my glue gun and put that back on. And that had a magnetic closure. And that says, all we have is now. Isn't that the truth? Tomorrow's not promised. All we have is right now. So those were some of my little paper packs. I'm going to put these back in the bag. And I'll fix it in a little bit. I'm going to show you. 
I'm going to put these back up. And I'll repackage them pretty because I have a thing about making things pretty when I mail them away and send them. Isn't that right? Um, let me put this up. I'm going to show you. Um, I made some boxes of uh, three by three cards. It says, believe you can, and you are halfway there. These are stickers that I got at my local Dollar Tree. I put them, I made this box. And I made, you know, this is what it looks like on the back. This is uh, the scrapbook paper. This is cardstock, so it's a little more sturdy. This was a sticker that I used as an embellishment on the top. Um, then I pull these out. You can see tiny little envelopes for three by three cards. This is one, and it's a, it matches the little box, you see. Three, four, five, and six. Inside each one of the cards has, each inside each one of the uh, tiny little envelopes has a three by three blank card. So you can write your own message on the inside, or you can write a thank you note. But this one says, enjoy life, and it has a matching envelope. This is one, um, the little three-by-three three envelope, and it says, patient, on the inside. Today is yesterday, and tomorrow is today. Live for now, as now will be gone. Confucius, very good and very true. This one says, patient. And even my grandchild said that I was a very patient person. You know, she said I had more patience than anybody she ever knew. And that was high praise. This is another little sticker that, you know, that I got from the Dollar Tree. And uh, I used them as embellishments on the little cards. And this is another little embellishment, too. Let's see. You like the little robin on this one? I left it blank on the inside so that you could uh, write whatever you wanted to in it. And I made the envelope with the wood grain to match. Uh, I loved the pattern on this paper. This paper pack, I don't remember the name of it. But I got it. This says, believe in yourself. And it came like that. Life is good. Hi, Alicia. Long time no chat. How have you been? You're so talented. Those all are so pretty. Well, I've been doing okay. The stickers are well hidden, PJ. They're very well hidden. They're over in the stationery section. They're not in the craft section. They're over at the end where you would buy the envelopes and the tape. They hide them. But I know where to look. So I put six cards and six envelopes per box and they all have some a uh, related theme going on to them and I made the box and I put a little thumbnail here to make it easy that is it's a regular card stock and scrapbook paper Lulu and this one is um, all of these cards are uh, related as well. This one says cherish. Each one of them has six cards and six envelopes. This one says don't lose hope. You never know what tomorrow may bring. 
All of these are positive and encouraging. And I embellish the edges by using the ink and ink sponges. And uh, this is another one. I put the little sticker from the Dollar Tree on the front of it. All the cards on the inside um, are related to the theme of whatever is going on in here. And each one of them has a blank page on the inside and envelopes to match. This one says belief. And has, uh, looks like maybe an owl on the side. But, and this is what it looks like on the back. I took um, some uh, Simply Shannon. You are so sweet to come here. All of you guys are. I haven't even started crafting yet. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. I forgot. I literally forgot what I put on the inside of this one. But this is embellished with a Versamark ink. And then I put embossing powder over it and used my heat gun. And I know that Lulu knows what I'm talking about. Um, this says, thanks, thankful for your friendship. And it's raised up and it's embellished. It's three. It's dimensional. And I made the little box. And this is just some beauty cream. This would be a wonderful gift for somebody in the hospital. Because, you know, or anybody. Like, even to tuck in a basket. A gift basket. Like at Mother's Day. This would just be another little um, gift to add on. If you make gift baskets. My mother has passed away, so I'm the mother now and the grandmother to everybody. So I, mama to everybody. Just, I'm trying to put this back in the bag on a live stream. It's not going to happen. This one says, you're so sweet. And it also has some lotion on the inside of it. I'm going to put these back in my box to photograph and sell later put up in my Etsy shop if anyone is interested because these would make perfect little gifts to give a friend or um, to put into a Mother's Day basket or to give to someone at the nursing home even. Um, I'm trying to turn this around without making y'all too dizzy and I'm going to start working on the project that I have laid out here on my table. This is one, oh, the one that I was showing earlier that I made. Um, I moved my camera and now I've lost where I'm supposed to be. So, can move the little thingy. Don't mean to make you guys dizzy. Mm, trying to find a good aim that I can see. Awesome, I think. Sorry, be patient with me, you guys. Be patient. I'm just adjusting the camera again. I'm sure that's going to crash behind me. Hold on for a second. I did put it in a good place. And I dropped this entire box of buffers and gel pens. I knew it was going to fall. Huh. So, anyway, thank you, Jan. Oh, I'm so glad that you were here. I tried three or four times to go live and YouTube was being funny. Or, this is the view that I wanted right here. I want you guys to be able to see the table and what I'm fixing to do. If I can get it to stay right there, that'd be good. Yeah. Okay, this is the one. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, Lulu, and welcome, Jenny. That's your new name, Mom and Alicia. Oh, yeah. I can handle that, Jenny. So this was the one that I made this morning. 
I have made um, these little flower embellishments with these flower punches. I'll put them down here so you can see them. Maybe. I think my light is doing something funny. There you go. The little paper punches. I made a bunch of these. And then I put them in packs like this. And then I have them when I need them. I made little butterflies and bigger butterflies. And I embellished the centers with tiny little... I got my punches at Tuesday morning. And they sell the same little paper punches at Michael's and Hobby Lobby for a lot more. I think I paid $5 for these two. And at Hobby Lobby, even with a coupon, it was going to be like 12 for these two. And I just wasn't going to do it. Nope. And I found them. And uh, I did get this one. When the paper studio was 50% off. On dimensional stickers, I bought them at my local Dollar Tree. And there's sometimes 8 or 12. Um, these are dimensional stickers. They have... Um, Lulu will know what I mean. I'm going to show you. They have these on the back. So, it lifts them up and makes them dimensional. So, for example, when you pull one of them off, it's sticky on the bottom. And on the top is a piece of paper. Oh, I can't find the dimensionals at the Dollar Tree. I got these at the Target, and I do get them at Tuesday morning. And... um. I got these at Target. They were on clearance. And I've about used them all up. I've put them. I got these little ones at my Tuesday morning. For um, $1.99. And so I'm making my own embellishments. And of course, you know, you can use ink or put them on cards. I have a basket of, uh, of stickers that I've gotten over time, like at the Dollar Tree, like I said. And then I can use them on top of my cards and stuff. You can also fussy cut out of your paper pack or use your um, Cricut Cuddle Bug. If you're real smart with it, which I've only had mine five days, so let's just say I'm not real smart with it yet. This is another example of uh, stickers you can buy at that Dollar Tree. I wonder if Amazon would have the punches. They would, but Michaels has the punches, and uh, Hobby Lobby has the punches. Did you buy Cricut Air? No, it was an anniversary present and it was a surprise. I've got the Cricut Air Explorer 2. And so I'm new to it and I'm just learning, you know, so I'm just learning a lot. I've, been, I've had the Cricut Cuddle Bug. It is nice for Mother's Day. I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I miss my mom. I hope you can spend as much time as you could can with her. I've all, I got the Cricut Cuddle Bug brand new at a yard sale. The lady had bought it, and she got the Cricut. Cricut Explorer and just never used it. And so I got it and the plates and everything for a lot. You have the Cricut Breast Cancer Limited Edition. That is awesome. I got 
Mine is this color. Nike girl, good afternoon. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Mine is this color. My signature color is pink. I'm just learning about it. I'd like to talk to you if I when I need help, Lulu, but I don't want to be a pain and bug you. But mine is beautiful pink, and this is what I got for um, an anniversary gift last weekend. Um, I was totally surprised because it was, let's just say, really out of character. I was floored. I was hoping I'd get it at Christmas, and I just didn't say anything about that. But every time I go by one in the store, thank you, because I'm learning. I can be taught, Lulu, but um, I hope you have some patience, because the first couple of days, it made me feel like um, I was a very dumb person. But the first thing I need to do is start uh, making some embellishments to go on the tea pack holder. Welcome to my stream. This is your first time here, Nike girl. Uh, we don't know each other at all, but we have a lot, ton of mutual friends. And I'm just going to sit here and make this um, tea holder with the envelopes. And I was inspired by Sam Donald. She's a UK designer. She's one of my favorite crafters to listen to and to watch. Her laughter just hooks and draws me in because it's pure. It's not, I don't know, you can just tell a lot about a person, I think, by the way. Oh, awesome, Nike girl. Well, since it's near Mother's Day, I thought that we could make the um, tea bag holder. I've made several of them, but I wanted to make sure that I had the embellishments to go on the... Um, I need these. You see these tiny little flowers right here with the little pearls on the inside of them? Okay, it was a pack of these at Hobby Lobby the other day was $4, but it was by Paper Studios, so it was, no, it was $3, so I got out of there really cheap, and I forget how many are on these, and I sure am not going to count them, but I needed the tiny ones because I have the larger bling, and I wanted something small to go inside my little flowers here. Lulu, look at my sweet little flowers. So I wanted some little flowers that's going to match with the paper that I've chosen to do for this tea holder. And this is the scrapbook paper that I'm going to use for this. It's got a very faint shade of pink in the background and branches in green. You crochet knit paint, make floral wreaths, diamond paint, and so much more. Me too, except for the diamond painting and the knitting. Um, I have done the diamond painting, but I used to do cross stitch. And I have so much of that left that I won't be able to do anymore because I'm older and my vision won't allow it. This is a pretty, pretty leaf green, and I'm hoping that it's showing up in the camera for y'all. But these are the um, colors that I'm going to use. I have my inks um, and sponges out handy. This is a very pale petal pink that matches the background of this. And I have this here for matching the branches. But what I'm thinking is what color should I use for the flowers to go? I'm going to ask you guys what color should I use for the flowers to go on the outside of the holder and the inside of the envelopes for this set. 
I was even thinking to go with the craft color card stock. I thought that would be great. I love the earth tones. And I don't have the white out here because the background is cream. Red rose, cream. You love the cream color for flowers. I'm thinking about cream color or card stock. I just, excuse me a second. I had moved my box of stickers. So everybody's saying cream. So let me pull from my stash up here. Um, Hold on a second. I'm reaching around. I've got it on the shelf right beside me. Okay. I'm not sure how much the camera is picking up. But I'm thinking these would look better because this looks like it has more of a yellow tint to it. So that answered my own question. So um, I'm going to get my little cutting board here and cut down a small enough section so that I can start cutting the flowers from before I make the holder I'm going to need the right color embellishments to put on the front we're all right you're back already Benny Loco wow that video is going to be awesome though I'm just now about to get started I'm so glad you came back welcome back do you want the pink color brought out more with paper? Yeah, I was thinking that the holder, for the holder itself, I was going to do, for the holder itself, I was going to do the, the craft color paper. And for the coordinating paper on top, I was going to do this one. And so, I'm trying to figure out if I should use this for the flower or, oops, I'm, I'm so sorry, oh my goodness, or this for the flower or even this for the flower. And if I do inks, then I already have some made. And I won't have to sit here and make them. So uh, right now I'm making decisions. The pink or the rose colored for the flower. Okay. I'm thinking. I already have the pink flowers out. Lulu, you're awesome. You know what to do. Huh? Of course you do. Red rose on top of this. Let me see. Hang on a second, my dears. This is a hot pink. A very bright pink is the red, which I don't think goes with it at all because these colors are so muted and so pastel. But this is red. This is the light pink, which goes with the background on this. And... Uh, Shannon is here. Isn't she awesome? You all are awesome. Thank you for coming out here um, and being a part of my live stream. I think I'm just going to cut down a strip of this and uh, 
so it'll be manageable. And then I can do the paper punch. I do think the pink looks a lot better. I'm going to cut down a strip of... Uh, into two by two. Not a two by two, but a, a two by 11, just so that the paper punches will be manageable. And uh, so I'm only going to need five at this point. So... One, two, three, four, five of this. And then the little ones that go on the inside here. One, two. Five. And I messed up on one of them. Five. Yes, I'm going to distress the edges. And I'm going to use the... Um, I have the ink and the distressers. And I've got the corner rounders and everything. So I'm going to move this aside since I'm not technically going to use it right now. I'll make more of these later. Irish whiskey. Welcome. Hello. I'm going to make more of these a lot later. Let me see. What did I do with my little? I'm getting, I'm working on the tools that I put up actually. Hold on for a second. Here's one I want. And Just sitting here playing around in the craft room. I'll be here all evening. I've got a mouse pad because I don't have a paper piercer. So I'm just using a mouse pad and I'm not going to actually. This is the one I messed up so I'm getting rid of it. Because that will drive my OCD up the wall. Okay. One, two, three. Three, four, five. I'm just taking the small end of this. I'm glad to have you here, Greg. Welcome. This is the bigger end, but I've got some of different sizes. And these were bought off of AliExpress for my polymer clay work. So I just push this right down in the center and make these come up and just kind of roll it around a little bit on the inside. Just pushing it straight down in to make it 3D. And then I've got I'll lay my directions down over the side, even though I've made that a million times. I've got um, art glitter glue that I bought from May May Made It. And I'm going to take, I'm going to put this here so you can see it, get it off the mouse pad. Take another sip of water. I'm going to put this right here so you can see it. Oh, I did not know that, Anita. But welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So I took those little paper punches. And I want the one that has the large five petals like this. That I sort of smashed them up like that. 
I'm going to want these for the bottom part of the flower. And I'm going to want these. I'm going to want this on the top. There we go. This is the top. This is the bottom. I'm going to use the glue and sit one right on the inside. Uh, there we go. And then I'm going to put one of these on the inside. Then I'm going to pop it up on a three-dimensional embellishment. And I'll show you here in a minute. I use my art glitter glue that I bought from May May Made It. I put my reading glasses back on. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm not gonna do this on top of my paper. I sure have something else that I could be working on that's a little bit better. I don't want to mess up my paper that I might be using. I was about to glue it, you guys, and then I realized why am I messing up my table and paper? I don't know. So back to what I was doing, the little flat ones first, put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. They're going to look like this. So I can show you what I'm doing. I used the little paper punches and I punched those out. Oh, there's only nine in here now. Oh, no. With the art glitter glue, there's no glitter in it, actually. Um, but you only need a tiny little dot because it's um, a special quick drying formula. And now put these down where the petals are staggered they're alter you know they're alternating you don't put the petals right down on top of each other put them to where the second layer is in the middle and i don't know how to describe it but words are hard so i'll show you what i mean when i lift this easy for me to do with my hands and I lift this up like that. I'm so glad you're still here, Em and kids. Okay. And you lift it up like that. The bottom one is flat. And these petals on top go in the middle. And I'm using this to kind of press it down. The I do like using the art glitter glue. It dries almost as much fast as um, instant glue, but it's perfect for paper. I'm just turning it just a little bit so the second layer will... Uh, Welcome back, James. Thank you for being here. So. I finished my laundry up. I had a hard time going live. YouTube's doing some new things. Even though I have more than a thousand, I think what it is is I had just forgotten how to do it. Um. I had to go up and re-enable my webcam to work, which is what I'm using. Aw. Right now. And I didn't know that that was the problem. And I worked for about an hour to go live till I finally figured out why I wasn't um, able to go live. I have a sharp pointy tool I will want this to be glued down very well because it's going to be used under 
the the flap of the envelopes when I'm done. These will be great presents for Mother's Day or anybody in the nursing home or just to give as gifts to your friends who love the tea holders. And I don't drink tea personally unless I get really sick. And But I know a lot of people too. In Woodstock, Georgia, there's a very fancy tea house there. See, I don't want these right down on top of each other. I want them to be alternating. And I'm going to put some more glue on that because it's dried already. See how fast that dried? I'm going to pick this up and put that right in here. And once it's dried, I'm going to embellish. I mean, I'll, I'll fluff them later once they dried. You've seen my craft room and some of my punches and bossy falls. i just seen your Etsy store. My Etsy store does not represent what I do now very well, Lulu. Um, I'm really, really into the paper crafting and things now. I've given most of my yarn away to my oldest daughter, except I haven't been able to afford to mail it to her. She lives far away. All my kids live very far away. It wasn't anything personal. It's just, you know, you get married, you move away. <laughs> so when these dry, I'll come back and lift them up. But for now, I'm going to use... This comes from my painting kit. And I use this as what they use to call in a cricket world, a spatula. I'm going to try to do this without cutting my finger off. Because yesterday I was just picking them up. I need five of these, so I'm going to pull off five and put them here. Thing is, they have very sticky little bags. Yes, Anita, it's a wonderful thing to do. And if you make gift bags, having these little, um, those little note holders chopping lists well that one's gone forever yeah i have to use tweezers i know i just didn't want to open the cricket machine but then again i do i'd stored it in the little toolbox donna rock fam hello your work have a 12 welcome i'm so glad you're here thank you donna 12-hour shift, that's really hard. I'm going to put it on the Cricut machine so you can watch this as like a Star Wars event. Star Wars. Dun, 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 dun. Ta -da -da. Isn't that like the coolest thing? Finding my tweezers now, Lulu. Closing it back, you guys. I would have never bought anything like that for myself, but it was my wedding anniversary and it was a gift. It was so out of character, so I'm really, really happy with it. That's birthday and Christmas and anniversary and um, Easter and everything all rolled into one, but I'm super, super happy with it. Okay, hopefully this is a better angle now. I put that little thing up. Um, I love the Thinlets dies, and I love um, using my little cuddle bug, too, to make all the laces and things. But I haven't learned much about my Cricut Explore yet. But I haven't had it a week, so be patient. 
There's a lot to learn. I'm watching a lot of more videos than I'm actually crafting. So, um, I've got the We Are Memory Makers sharp pointed tool thingy. And this part on the end is supposed to pick up things. And occasionally it does. And occasionally it doesn't. And it's brand new. And I like the pick-me-up stick better for doing that. It's just, it's got this little gummy stuff on the end. But I'm going to put the little pearls in the flowers and... Uh, Get on with it, because I haven't cut one thing out for the holder yet. That will dry clear, that right there. I'll go back and fix the petals later. And when it dries, I'm going to put the 3D embellishments on the back. That stuck right to it. That stuck right to it. That's another part that I hate about that. And I move that right over into the glue before it dries. I don't want that popping off of there. If I sell it, I want it to be perfect. I don't want anything. I have not done any diamond painting yet. Yet, but I intend to. I, you showed me yours and I'm just, I'm in love with it. I just haven't made a chance to do it. Sherry, Sherry here. Oh, I'm so glad you were here, Donna. You know, I love you, girl. And thank you for stopping by. Let me see if this sticks to it less and we'll pick it up. Nope. Move it over a little bit before before it dries. I'm sorry. I was so out of camera. I didn't even realize it. Put a little dot of glue here. Lightly pick up one of the embellishments and hopefully can lightly put it down. That one worked. So for some reason I have four flowers. So I must have knocked one somewhere else. There. I do not know. This is how we do it. And I know I need I need that mouse pad again. That's not going to work. Alrighty then. That other one just up and flew away, you guys. I'm sorry I'm so quiet. I get quiet when I'm concentrating. So you guys can talk amongst yourselves, please. And I'm reading the chat while talking to you. It's 
if I can get this to move on a little bit. There we go. I know it got awfully quiet, but thank you all for the thumbs up and for tweeting it out. I'm going to take chains. That was so nice. So when this one appears to be dry, I'm going to take this. off of the paper well, that's what she said it's not coming up very easy there's a sticky side here or it's supposed to be but since it doesn't appear to be very sticky i'm going to put it down on the back of the flower i'm going to leave the paper on it and so when I'm ready to attach it to the thing, I'll pull the paper off the back. It is, it looks like a lot of fun, Lulu, to do that. I'm trying to pull, you know what, um, I'm done. I'm just going to get a different, that comes off the paper easier. Okay, it has sticky on one side. And I'm, and I'm going to put that, I'm going to put a little dot of glue on the back of it, even though it is sticky. Okay, which side is it? Okay. I had it on the correct side. The sticky side, I'm going to put a dot of glue on it. And then I'm going to put it on the bottom here. I'm going to leave the paper on the back that you normally peel off. And when I'm ready to attach it to... Ha, ah, that was cute. You're watching it out. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so peel off the dimensional. I don't remember what size these are. It's sticky. It's sticking to me. Thank you all for staying with me, you diehards. M kids and Life vlogs. I'm so glad you're here. She's always with me when I craft. She's a sweetie too. Okay. Like I said, I'm leaving the paper on the back. You can't see any of that. I'm putting... The little dimensional on the back and it has a thin piece of paper that you tear off well i use my pokey tool to pull most little thin things off like that and glue on my thumbnail that's great okay it doesn't matter i'm crafting i don't care these hands are in dirt in the garden they're a dishwasher you know i wash dishes by hand and everything else um, so I put the sticky side here. So when everything is dry, I take my little pokey tool and I pull those petals up just a little bit to give it some dimension. You know, if it was a bigger flower, I'd curl it and do all kinds of things, but Okay, what I'm going to do right now is put them down on my laptop and uh, re-glue this one who wanted to escape. I'm going to put them down. I'm not sticking them to my laptop, but I'm just putting them aside because I don't have a lot of space on my table. I just need to move them because... I'm going to do some other things right now. 
I'm going to use uh, Sam Donaldson's. And after the live stream's over, I'll put the links down in the bottom. I'm going to put this up here and uh, put this one here where I can get it. Put my little pokey tool back and keep my little dimensionals handy. Um, and move this down for a moment. Put this in my little paper scrap pile. Okay. The only reason that I made more flowers or different flowers was this was just, in my opinion, was a little different colored pink than the one that's in this paper. But you wouldn't have been able to tell that I would have. So I'm going to put the pin back in my glue and set it aside. Gigi, hello. <laughs> How are you, you and your daughters doing? I'm going to put my little uh, stamps aside because right now, Space. Space is, is something that I need a good bit of at the moment. And uh, it's so good to see you, Gigi. It's so wonderful to have you back and to be back live streaming. I'm going to move my little tools out of the way and get my directions. Um, the very, this comes from, like I said, Poodles. And I printed it off of her blog and I will put the link down below. It's from poodles.co.uk. Her name is Sam Donald. This is what it looks like. And... This is what it looks like on the inside. And you put your tea holders in there. And uh, these are all the cutting directions in my handwritten notes. The things that you need are a rounder, inks, flowers, tea, uh, designer series paper, cardstock, scissors, a pointy tool, score tape, glue, a bone folder, a cutting board, and a scoring board, and there may be more. And Gigi, this is what I made earlier this morning as an example, but I'm going to distress it and use a corner rounder on the one that I'm making right now. So, uh, the cardstock for the wrap is 11 inches by 3 and 1 quarter. So, let me get my I'm going to get my bigger cutting and scoring board out because I'm going to need to be able to score it in just a moment. So, well, sorry, I bumped the camera. I'm opening my scoreboard. I'm trying not to bump the camera because I've got the Cricut Explorer and my laptop up on my So, says the wrap that I need is 11 inches by... I'm going to raise this up. Oh, Anita, I didn't even see it. Oh, my goodness. That's okay. So, I'm going to raise this up. And this is my scoreboard. This is an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper. And I need 11 inches. So, 11 inches is the long side. So, I line that up to the three and one fourth mark, which is 
right here on my board. I close it down. I'm holding it. And voila, I've got it cut to the width that I need. And the cardstock for the inner is four inches. So bring the camera down a little bit so you can see this better, hopefully. Lining it up on the four inches. Closing and, and cutting. It's four by three. So and uh, gonna put that aside. Oh, let's see, four by three. And uh, let's see. So I'm going to need four pieces of these papers. Lee and Ladybug. Oh, I am so glad to have you here as well. I'm thinking out loud while I'm crafting and I'm making... Um, a tea pocket holder to make his gifts. I'm so glad to have you here. For the envelope, I need to make five by five squares and I need to make four of them. So I line this up. I don't know if you can see it or not. So you can get it closer to what I'm looking at. And I lined it up at the five. Okay. Move the paper away. Um, this is a 12 by 12 designer series paper that come from a paper pack that I bought at Michael's. So I line it up again. That's my first five by five piece of paper that's going to make the envelope for to hold the tea. I need to make four of these. So that was one. And this is two. I'm going to save my little scrap because I'm going to need that in a little bit. And three and this is four and I'm saving all my little scraps because I'm going to need those so for the tops and the bottoms I'm going to need one three inches by one inch. I'll put that one down. And I'm going to need another uh, Three inches by one and one fourth. I'm sorry. I'll line it up at the one and one fourth mark. Close the cutting bar. And then I'm going to need one that is. Three inches by one and 
three fourths. So these are the three pieces that I'm going to need to put on the outside of the container. Belinda, hello. Welcome. Glad to have you. So I'm going to need to score these. And here's my bone folder. So for the um, scoring process for the wrap, the holder, I'm going to need to score it at three and a half. I'm going to move this over here because I want you to see it. I do it a couple of times because it's a heavier cardstock. And you drop your bone fold right there. Three and a half, four and three quarters. Try not to press too hard because you don't want to press right through it. I have done it before. Eight and one quarter. And nine and a half. I'm going to take the the little piece that I cut at move this back over here where you can see it at one half one one and a half Oops, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, and three and a half. I'm going to remove that. Move this out of the way. And I don't know if I have enough room for this yet, but we will see. I'm getting up another little work service thing here. I've got everything I need right over there. I think I've already got everything I need cut out. Oh, if I don't, I have this paper right here handy. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, if you guys can a little better, I don't know if you can see the lines on the paper or not where I scored it. But it did make little lines. I'm going to take the bone folder. I'm going to make nice crisp lines here. So you, if you see where there's a divot, where there's a, a ditch here, or an, these should become the outside, I think. That's the way I do it anyway. I like the nice little tight creases on those. Um, I'm going to get my inks here. A little uh, ink pads stuff out here. Let's see which ones I want to use. Not real sure. I'm looking through my stuff, guys. Hold on. Okay. I'm 
I'm taking these. Uh, I've got some Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And uh, this one's Gathered Edge and Frayed Burlap. And this one is Victorian Ink, Rusty Hinge, um, Broken China, and Dried Marigold. I'm like, uh, it's supposed to still be in there, but I've misplaced it, unfortunately. I have some bigger stamps right here. So I'm thinking about using my vintage photo. Yeah, I've got vintage photo right here. And the spiced marmalade, which I don't think I'm going to want to use that. I'm going to want to use something more pink on the paper, maybe. And that's out there just in case I change my mind. You're a watcher, not a doer. I'm glad to have you here. That's okay. You know, it may just kind of... I've got these. I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit. You will see part of my laptop. And you're going to see my messy table. But that's just the way it is right now. So I will ask you guys to help me make decisions and color decisions. But I pretty much already know that I'm going to go with the... Tim Holtz Distress Oxide and Vintage Photo to ink the edges. That one needs re-inked bad. You can tell by looking at it. This one does too. This one's a hot mess. That's why I bought another one because I couldn't find the re-inker at the store that day. So I'm going to find the little pad that I used See, these little things, they have Velcro on one end, and these little pads have like, felt on the other, and they stick to it really, really well. Messy means I'm doing it right. That's what I'm told. Let me get my... I got this glass mat, this glass plate, and if you make a mess on it, it's very easy to clean up. Not that I mind messy, I don't. But I just use like a baby wipe, a wet one, just wipe it up. I use it for mixing paint and all all sorts. But I take my little dabber and I get my little sponge filled up with ink. So she says, I'm not sure I did. I'm gonna put the lid back on it because it's dry as a potato chip. Right now, it needs re ink. I need re ink so bad. Let me see. I'm not sure I got any on it or not. I did. So, I'm taking this and I'm going to turn it around and do the other side. I'll just make it look. I need more ink. I'm not sure which one has more ink in it or not there. Maybe this one. We'll see. Yep. That one sure did. I'm doing all of the sides. Sorry, you guys, if I'm not talking, I'm just trying not to spend the whole day on this one little item. But um, it kind of messes it up 
it's alcohol. I could add a little alcohol in it. But it's a good question. I make my own alcohol ink too. Um with makeup from the dollar store and I have that in bottles as well they're spray inks is James the sharpshooter and Benny Loco still here is Gigi still around This is a heavier cardstock than just scrapbook paper. I'm going to do the insides a little bit on the edges, but not on the creases. Because we're going to be gluing things down on them. I just want the edges to kind of look consistent when you open it up. James is on the phone. Well, he's not calling me. Oh, I didn't see that message. I was making a joke. I want to welcome everybody for coming here. I wanted to thank you guys. It makes me so feel so good that you'd spend the afternoon talking to me and just watching me play around in the craft room here. change the sponge for this one and get one that's uh, more pink so it won't oh M and kids thank you for being here when I'm done with this, the tea holder is going to sit up like this, like a little, it's a little box, and the envelopes will go on the inside. When I cut out these pieces of designer paper, because this is going to go like this, and this one is going to go. This small piece is going to go on top, and this one's going to go on the flap, and this one is going to go on the bottom. I'm going to take my corner rounder here, and I, I'm looking at the paper. This looks upside down to me, so I'm going to turn it around, and I'm going to round the bottom two ends here by using... I have a, I'm not sure it's going to show up in the camera. Does that look better? Mm, I don't know. So let me figure it out again. Yep, that looks better like this to me. So I'm going to take the bottom two corners. I'm going to put it in here.
make sure I've lined it up. And press. And do the same thing on the other side. Line it up and press. And now you can see the bottom two corners, but I'm not done with it yet. This is the one that I'm going to put on the flap, but I'm going to um, ink it. I'm going to distress it first. These, this big one, is going to go down on the bottom here. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to round those corners or not. I'm thinking about it. I think I might round all four of these corners. Just because I like using the punch. Thank you, Anita. And if you do that here, to keep it consistent, I'm going to do it to the part that goes on top here too. I think I'm going to do all four corners on all of these because it would just look weird to not do it to me. And You can do yours the way you want to, and I won't call it weird. It's just I make it up as I go along. <laughs> Be pretty rounded. Yeah, I am. Hi, Mike. You stopped by and showed some love and gave you a thumbs up. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you and Belinda for being here. I appreciate the thumbs up. I've got 30 thumbs up so far. So I made a whole lot of little paper bits right here that I want to get out of the way because I have OCD. Not too bad, but I'm going to take this. Hmm. Looks like one of my velcro things from another one stuck to the back of it i have this you can buy these at the craft store hobby lobby michaels joann's has them you can also make them if you want to but this was my christmas present so um i love having them this is um tim holtz Distress ink and it's called Victorian Velvet. This is kind of a pink color. And because this has a very pale baby pink background, I'm going to do that. Just ink up my sponge as much as possible. And just Barely tap the corners of these. And of course, I get a little bit heavy handed sometimes. I should have some music playing in the background, but thank you guys. It's showing that I have 10 in the room. If anybody can tell me if that's different than what you see, I'd appreciate it. Uh, there it is. 
I kind of panicked for a minute. This is scrapbook paper, and it came from, it says Sprig and Bow a paper pad. It was a hot buy. It was hot buy papers at uh, Michael's. Five bucks a piece for 48 pages and has lots of beautiful prints on the inside. And this is just a couple of the prints that I've chosen to use on the tea bag holder today. Because this is glass, I can wipe it right off. It's not a problem like at all. I'm going to put the lid back on these inks because they do dry out really quick. Um, Going to put the pads back in the bag. Okay, you see seven watching? Okay. Thank you for all seven for hanging in here. I appreciate you. I think if I'm going to round the one that goes right here, that maybe, just maybe, I ought to round the flaps too. Hi, Andre. It's great to see you. Thank you for coming. Okay. Now, I've got a big corner chomper, a big handheld thing, but you don't need it for such a small thing. So I'm going to uh, put this right on top. I'm going to use my art glitter glue. It's sold by May May Made It. And get it to come out here. I'm going to glue it to the top flap there. Of course, if you don't have that, regular Elmer's glue will work because at the end of the day, this is just simply paper. But I do like this because it dries really, really quickly. And it's so sturdy. It's so sturdy. It's like super glue. And you don't need a whole lot. Just a little bit will do. And I'm going to decide which way is up and which way is down here. Yep, I had that right to start with. I'm going to center it. And because it's wet glue, you've got just a little bit to wiggle it around and get it even where you want it. And... That's about where I want it, right there. I'm going to take the little one and do the same thing to put on the top right here. You just need a little bit. I probably always use too much, but... So I'm going to put this approximately where it would go if it was closed. And this is where that bottom piece of paper would go. So I'm going to glue that down right there like that. I'm going to pull this back so you can see like on the side there, I'm getting a real good closure. I'm going to put this down where it would go if it was officially closed. And because it's wet glue, I've still got a minute or two to move this around. 
to where I want it to be. And that is really good. 30 likes. That's awesome. I really think that's awesome. Can show you what I was going to do like for a closure. You know the flower I made earlier? We'll go on top like that. On the back, it has, on the back of the dimensional, it has a piece of paper. I'm just using my little sharp tool to lift it off. Like, see, it just comes right off. My day's going good. I'm hanging out and I've got people to talk to. On the back is sticky. But because I want this to be permanent, I'm putting just a little dot of glue on it. I'm going to close this up and eyeball it and center it just like that. And I'm going to, I've got my fingers in behind where that flower is. I'm pressing it down. Just like that. So it will go. You could also use a magnet and hide the magnet with the flower if you wanted to. I've got a little bit of a glue right there, but I'm scratching it off. And uh only takes a couple of seconds for the glue to dry there, which means I better put the pin back in here. Because we're going to do some really fun stuff in a moment. I'm about to make the envelopes. It's kind of hard to see. Get the glue off my pen. Ta-da! Just like that. Now I could have distressed the edges of this flower too a little more and do that. Um, I also want to take see if I can find it here. My, here it is. I find the center of the flap here, no signal. Oh, Lord. Let me refresh. Hold on. 